Welcome to a quick walkthrough of model experiments. This video will explain how to get started with model experiments. On the left side of my screen, we have gitlab.com with the model experiments in a project. And on the right side, we have a Jupyter notebook with some MLflow code to interact with model experiments. A separate video will also explain how to use Python, the GitLab Python client. So first we're going to have our import. We're going to instantiate our MLflow client. We're going to set our tracking token to our um, GitLab API token. And we are going to set the MLflow tracking URI to our project. Um, and then we are ready to go. If you uh, click on create an experiment using MLflow, you will also get a sample code to get started. So we are going to create an experiment and we're going to call it my experiment. And we're going to give some tags. These tags can be used as metadata for the experiment. So let's get started. Run our imports, instantiate the client, create the experiment. So now when we refresh the page, we will see that we have our experiment. It shows the number of runs, which is here in this case, who created it and when. When we click on the experiment, we get to the details page. We can see our experiment metadata. These are just key value pairs. In our case, we've set them to team, my team and project, my project, as you can see here. We also have a tab for the runs and a tab for performance. Since we don't have any runs, neither of those show anything. We are now going to create a run. We're just gonna keep it very simple for this demo. We're gonna lock some parameters um, and we're going to lock an artifact. In this case, we're going to lock just the notebook that we have here. Um, you can use, of course, many more functionality from MLflow, but this is just a demonstration to see how we can lock param par params, metrics, and artifacts. Once we've, read, once we've hit run, um, we can refresh the page again. We will have one run in our overview. And when we click on the, the run ID, we can see the details. So we will see our run ID, the source name, where it comes from, the parameters, etc. We can also link them to CI, but of course we're not using CI in this example. When we go to artifacts, we have a URL that takes us to the GitLab package registry because every model is a package. We can see the, the, the package as well as the artifacts. So we can actually see that the upload of our artifact was successful. When we go to performance, we can see the metrics. Um, in some instances, we also have graphs um, like um, the experiment, so we can track runs over time. So if we create another run, when we refresh the page, we can actually see a, a line chart of the performance of the metric, in this case, the metric C, and the value stays at three. So you can track runs over time for the same experiment. So this was a quick overview of model experiments.